Hey guys, so I wasn't going to film a video like this this year, but it's a style of video I really love filming and where I haven't filmed in a while I wanted to do something I was really comfortable doing and it may be a month late, but it's still closer than last year's birthday book haul was, so let's just get on with it. The first book I have here is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Patrick Ness is an author I adore an insane amount. I've only read two of his books before, A Monster Calls and More Than This, but they were both in it, like so engrossing and so good and so different, which I really loved seeing from an author. And I'd wanted to read this series even before I'd read any other books by him. I just felt it was so intriguing and so yeah, I'm really excited I finally have a copy of it and I can't wait to read it. It's also the first Patrick Ness book I've owned. I got the last two out of my school library. I I think it was part of Carnegie. Yeah, Carnegie is fun. The second book I have is Dorothy Must Die uh, by Danielle Page. So The Wizard of Oz is a story I've always loved growing up, hence the poster behind me. and. My dance school did The Wizard of Oz as their show this year, so I'm all in an Oz mood and I'm ready for more. And this sounds so cool, it's like dystopia meets Oz meets all cool things and I can't wait to read it! I can't wait! I can't wait! Like, in the end of the blurb, it's got like, remove the tin man's heart, steal the scarecrow's bearing, take the lion's courage, and then Dorothy must die. Love it. It's dr over dramatic. Love it. Uh, the next book I have is a book where the rest of the books in the series have already appeared in hauls and they were one and three so to complete the collection here is the 100 day 21. You know how much I love the TV series. I love the characters an insane amount and I'm gonna start the 100 real soon. I can't wait to get more of my favourite characters. It's so exciting. I love them so much. Yeah. The next book is a book that I first found when I was on holiday in Canada this summer. And it was the first time I'd seen this book and it sounded so good and I was like, oh, I'll look it up when I get home. When I got home, it turned out it was a movie that had just come out. How had I not, how had I not heard of it before? Anyway, here's me all and the guy, dying girl. Someone explained to me how I hadn't heard of it before. It seems so up my street and I'm so excited to read it. I'm a little sad that I've missed the movie being out in theatres, but who cares? I'm I'm psyched about this book. Yeah. And the next book I have is Life of a Sprinkle of Glitter by Louise Pentman. Sprinkle of Glitter. I wasn't gonna buy it Louise's book initially, but look how aesthetically pleasing it is. Just look at those pages. I love it and it's just such a nice little read, you can shove some slippers on when you get home from school and curl up with Louise's book. Yeah, I love it. I've said that so many times in this video, I love it. Just love it. Uh, the next book is, well I'm going on holiday to Walt Disney World next year, I'm insanely excited but obviously a holiday like that needs a lot of planning. 800 pages worth of planning. Here is the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. 2016 edition. Oh, I'm psyched and the next book kind of follows on. It's The Hidden Mickey's Guidebook. We checked this book in guide shops when we were having arguments over what actually counted as The Hidden Mickey. I thought this book would solve it. This book is set out like a competition. There's just gonna be more arguments. I can't win. I can't. I can't win. The final book I have is 642 Things to Write About, Young Writers Edition. I love writing, it's one of my favourite things to do, but I don't have time to do it every day after homework, which is annoying because one of the best ways to improve your writing is to write every day. And so this just gives me little activities like write about a little girl begging for a pony and you can write a little paragraph about it and just that'll be it for the day. I can't believe that. <laughs> I almost sneezed in the best take I've been doing. And that'll be it. And then, <laughs> and then, so yeah, I'm really psyched to start doing this book. So that was all the books in my birthday book haul. Comment down below whether you've read any of these and what you thought. 
Uh, let's start a discussion about books. That's really what I want on this channel. So just start talking. Give this video a thumbs up if- I really can't do it on this hand with a plaster on. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, share, share this video with your friends so everyone can see it. Check out my social network links, they'll be in the description as always. And most importantly, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, remember to subscribe. Bye!